Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm having a look at the Shot Zen Juji Darts. Uh, very nice looking one this is, so let's check it out. So I'm reviewing the 23 gram version, they're 80% tungsten, they're also in 24 and 26 gram in steel tip, 18 and 20 gram in soft tip and the retail for £54.95. So as usual the darts are in this slim cardboard packaging and with the Zen reins it's kind of like minimalist, nice pink colour. When I was a kid <laughs> I used to have a pink shirt, it was my favourite shirt and then I, I grew a bit too big for it one day and I was crying my eyes out. <laughs> That's only about five or six like. <laughs> but pink used to be a boy's colour and then for some reason it was changed to blue but there you go, a little bit of information there for you. So the darts fit with some in-between shot alloy stems and it's got the rather nice small standard 100 micron Juji flights. So the darts fit with a black coated point and it's a kind of a, a bomb style shape. Fairly sharp barrel, chunky at the front and tapering to the rear. And as you can see, it's got that very nice, I think they call it a rose bomb PCT coating. And it's got what they've called the Creston wave grip, which I'm guessing is this section here. But if you like a front weighted style and a chunky barrel, it feels quite nice, not massively grippy. So probably around about medium level grip, but nice looking dart and looking forward to trying this. On the rear you've got a double thin ring grip so there's grip there for whether you're a front mid or rear gripper but it just depends whether you like a, a fairly short front weighted style of barrel but it looks quite a nice one and there's the in-between alloy stems and these very nice Juji 100 micron small standard flights. So you've got a tapered front there which has got a mix of thin rings and grooves and that Rather nice looking rose bomb PCT coating. And then above that you've got what I think it's called the Creston Wave Grip. It's kind of like curved rings. Um, grooves in between and again you've got the rose bomb PCT coating. Looks very nice. Nice contrast against the natural tungsten. Then as you get to the rear of the dart it's a thin double ring grip. Uh, narrow rings in between the rings, uh, narrow grooves in between the rings and then wider grooves in between the sets of rings. Again with the Rosebomb PCT cotton and then on the end you've got a smooth tapered section. So there's the super close look at the shot Juji darts. That's fit with a black coat 29mm point. You've got a tapered front there which has got some thin ring and groove sections and that's 8mm. Then you've got that Creston wave grip that's 18mm on the rear. It's the double thin ring grip that's 14.5mm and then you've got a small smooth section on the very end 3.5mm length 44mm widest 7.7mm. <laughs> Alright, I'll just wear them, but as I said before, shot don't actually guarantee the weight matching on the 80% range. I'm not really sure why, but there you go. That's 22.87 grams. 22.84 grams. And 22.93, so the last one, a little bit more heavy, but it's not think that you would notice really. Full setup, 25.03 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Apart from the very front and the rear, it's pretty much a medium level grip overall, so 5 out of 10.
treble five champion. Treble five, treble 20, treble one. <laughs> um, definitely a nice front balance for a front gripper like me, but they usually are this kind of dart. Quite chunky feeling at the front. It's only a short barrel. I'm holding it maybe just past the taper, probably on the first two of them kind of like wavy rings. I wouldn't say it's massively grippy though. Maybe just medium level. There's a slight like edginess where you can feel like the, the ring where it kind of like curves a little bit. But again, I'd probably just say it's a, a medium. But definitely got a nice balance, but I was expecting that anyway. Yeah, I quite like the way they fly through the air. It's usually the kind of dart that I like anyway, this. So definitely, if you're a front gripper and you like your short front weighted barrels, you don't need a lot of grip. It's pretty nice, but nice looking dart. So don't be afraid of the pink, even though green's my favorite. <laughs> Get in there. Well, them two actually flew quite smooth. Is that one in the 20 here? I'm holding it maybe half and half, a little bit on that crest and grip and a little bit on the ring grip on the rear half. But obviously it's tapering so the barrel is getting thinner, but it's still got a kind of a front weighted feel. Oh, treble five champion. It's actually flying quite smooth from that position. But with this kind of a style of dart, it's, it's whether you can get away with a shortish front heavy barrel. So if it's the kind of dart that you, or the kind of style that I should say that you like, then it's probably worth a look, whether you're a front mid or rear gripper. But yeah, it's quite smooth flying from that middle section there. Well, not quite as smooth flying through the air as it was from the middle, but I think with it being front heavy, it was kind of like bringing itself into a kind of a decent straightness as it was getting to the board, if you know what I mean. And it's just the weight of the dart kind of like pulling it in a bit straighter. Got a treble from the rear grip. <laughs> I think I got a bit of a lucky deflection off that of the dart there, like. But I'd say the level of grip, although it's a different kind of grip on that section, the level of grip is still around about the same, I think, just maybe medium level. Got another treble from the rear grip. But no reason why that won't work for a rear gripper if you like a short front weighted style. Overall quite a nice start I think. Power. I can feel it all right. That's for you again, Stephen Hudson. 
<laughs> How's that for a nice grouping? Let's see if I can get a zoom in there. Uh, how do I zoom in again? Oh yeah. No, I won't go any any further than that. But I'll take the camera off. Oop. I'll have to zoom out now. Where well, you can see it. There we go. How was that? Nice group and all what? Right. I'm going to put this one down. I don't need that one now. But yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> just got a nice front balance and like I say this kind of dart it's for me as a front gripper it it feels nice to throw I know short barrels are not for everyone but if you've never tried a short barrel then obviously try it at least once because you never know um, but whether you're a front mid or rear gripper if that's the style that you like it's it'll work for you it didn't seem to be too bad from the middle it actually seemed to be flying smoother through the air from the middle uh, from the rear I did better than I thought I was going to do but it was kind of like going a bit fishtaily and then it was kind of like drawing itself in so definitely still works from the the rear as well but nice looking dart and I do particularly like them flights really nice flights them so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you in the next one happy darting